Can the devil read our thoughts? Well, the question is asked because how does he know what we're doing? How does he tempt us? How does he come at us? How does he attack us? He's not physical, so that means he obviously operates in the spiritual. But what does that mean? Does that mean that he has some sort of connection with our mind? How can he then tempt us? The Bible is not clear about all the features, all the characteristics, all the ability of the devil, or for that matter, of any demons. We don't have a whole lot to go off of. As a matter of fact, there's only three times we actually hear what came out of his mouth, and really another time where we, we are kind of brought into what he is thinking. But what we are told is that God can, and what's told about God eliminates what's told about, or what we can know about Satan. In uh, 1 Kings 8, 39, he says, Then hear in heaven your dwelling place, and forgive the act, and render to each according to his all, to all of his ways, whose heart you know, for you alone know the hearts of all the sons of men. So he says that you alone, only you, God, know the hearts of men. What does that naturally mean? That naturally means that only God does, but Satan cannot. In 1 Corinthians 2, 11, it says, For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, the thoughts of God no one knows except the spirit of God. So two things we know. The only person that can know our thoughts uh, outside of God, because God knows all the thoughts of men, the only other person that can know our thoughts are us. And so for that reason, that necessarily eliminates the ability of Satan to be able to read our thoughts. But just because Satan cannot read our thoughts, just because no demon can read our thoughts, does that mean that he can't understand our thoughts? That might be a different story. And the answer to that is yes. How do I know? Because other people can kind of have an idea or a glimpse as to what I'm thinking, not because they read my thoughts, but because they're observant. Remember, we kind of give a clue as to what we're thinking by our actions. How could the devil possibly know how to tempt me? Well, by seeing my actions, by seeing what I stated. Remember, the Bible tells us this, that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Whatever's inside the, the heart is coming out. And so if when you observe me, like a demon might do, like the devil might do, if you observe me, you can see my interest, what I like. As a matter of fact, all you sometimes have to do is look at the rapper. If I see a person who who is well put together, who is kind of muscular, I might be able to deduce that this person likes to work out. And could I possibly, if I wanted to tempt them in some, some particular area, could I do so? Possibly. The Bible tells us that only God, only God is omniscient, not the devil, but he can certainly be observant. And more to that, on top of that, he is certainly persuasive. Remember, in the Garden of Eden, in perfect situation, perfect conditions, he was able to deceive Eve. The fall was led because of his interactions with mankind. So all he can do is go off the thoughts of ourselves that we reveal. He, Satan can't understand our thoughts. He can interpret what he sees, but he can't in, But he can't stop them. He can't understand them. He can't intercept them. In other words, if we're praying to God that he can stop that, that he can hijack that, no, he doesn't have that kind of power. But that's not to say that he doesn't have any power. He does. Clearly, he has the ability to persuade. He's been doing it for a long time. And he knows what works. There's not a lot of different things that he needs at his disposal, different tricks to kind of uh, mislead us. No, uh, there's only a few things that he needs and they work pretty well because we are still, after all, human beings. And so whenever we come across any part or plan of the enemy that is trying to thwart what God is trying to do, it's not that the enemy understands our thoughts. No, only God knows our thoughts and our intents. And so what that necessarily means is if we see anything that comes from him, that is from the enemy, then what should we do? The Bible says resist him. And before we do that, submit to God, draw closer to God and resist the enemy. And what will he do? He will flee. And so without worrying about if he can read our thoughts, we know that there's one who can. That is God. Amen.